the curtain on a play I've written just for you. Our scene is set in Sherwood, beside the major road, where lives a maid called Marion, with kind and simple folk. Cue opening night. What's the matter? My marriage has gone missing, Will. One minute she's here singing a song, and the next she's completely disappeared. Don't panic on Gertie. She's probably just gone for a walk in the forest. What? Sherwood Forest is no place for a young maid to wander alone. Oh, my poor little dumpling. She's probably being attacked, or ambushed, or... or... Kidnapped? <laughs> That's right, Marion. Kidnapped. Marion, where have you been, you naughty thing? I've been worried sick. I need to sit down and decompose myself. Nursey, I'm old enough to take care of myself. You're my ward, remember? I promised your father I'd look after you whilst he's away in the Crusades. But that was ten years ago. I'm all grown up now. You were still my ward and you'll remain my ward until your father returns. But I'll be a wrinkly old woman by then. Then you'll be a geriatric ward. I know you're not my real daughter, but you and Will are all the family I've got. Why didn't you ever get married, Nancy? I did once. Oh, it was a very emotional wedding. Even the cake was in tears. But it was doomed from the start. Why? Well, he was a tennis player. Love meant nothing to him. Then I'm getting gray a man with a wooden leg. What happened? She broke it off. So you see, you're all I've got, and I have to protect you from all the nasty things lurking in the forest. The outlaws, the robbers, King John's guards. King John? He's just an imposter. Richard the Lionheart's our true king. Well, when King Richard returns, he'll soon put matters right. But until then... We all have to live here in Sherwood Forest, paying taxes to that nasty sheriff of Nottingham. That's right. We won't be pushed around by King John. We demand justice, don't we? Yes! We demand freedom, don't we? Yes! And when his men come, will we run and hide? Yes! <laughs> Will, you'd help me fight that horrible sheriff and his guards, wouldn't you? Absolutely, Marion. It's like my dad always said, you've got to fight fire with fire. Well, that was good advice. Not really. He was a fireman. But you're right. We need to stand up for ourselves, and you can rely on me. I'm not scared of the sheriff. Ah, the sheriff! Citizen, 
Sons of Shud, pray silence and take heed. Gather round the prepared to grovel. As we proudly present King John's right hand man, the Sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> The Sheriff of Nottingham, you fool. I have the proclamations. Can't you get ointment for that? Silence! His Royal Highness King John needs more money. More money? So from now on, all taxes are doubled. Doubled? Is there an echo around here? He has also decided to tax everyone with blocked up noses. Blocked up noses? Yes. It's called the congestion charge. Not the taxes. <laughs> we pay more than enough already. Window tax, door tax, chimney tax. No, no. You don't have to pay for your chimney. Why not? Because it's on the house. Ah, ha, 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 ha! Ah, ha, 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 ha! Just the sheriff's little joke. Now pay up all my gods to throw you out and burn the houses to the ground. Look here, we've got ten shots and we're all revolting. Yes, I'd noticed. <laughs> How can you charge us tax living in these hovels? What are you talking about? You live in five star residences. Yes, that's how many stars we can see through the hole in the roof. And you have running water. Yes, and the balls every time it rains. The kitchen's so small we have to use condensed milk. And the walls. <laughs> and the walls are so thin when I peel an onion, the neighbours start crying. So why don't you just go away before things turn ugly, big nose? <gasps> Please forgive my ward chef. She doesn't have good manners and class. Like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, could we come to some arrangement with the taxes? Absolutely not. I'm inflexible. Must be your knickers, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That's all right. I had a bit of wind myself this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we shall return at noon. And make sure you have the money ready. You don't want to mess with King John and his mighty armies. Well, maybe when you return, we'll have some mighty armies of our own waiting for you. Don't make me laugh, girly. The only armies you have are up your sleeveys. Ah, ha, 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 ha! Ah, ha, 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 ha! Well, that's it then. We can't raise that sort of money. And we can't pick a fight with those Normans. We're finished here. We may as well start packing now. Come on everyone, don't give up. I'm sure we can think of something. Oh, that chef. I like to cover him in prawn cocktail sauce and that's just for starters. Well, I never. Look at this advert in a paper, Will. For sale, left sock, slightly smelly. No, underneath that. These troubles are getting us down. Troubles getting you down? We need an answer to our problems. Need an answer to your problems? I know what we need. You need a team of highly trained professionals. We need a team of highly trained... Pro How did you know? Available anytime, any place, anywhere. Look! This is the answer. If we could hide these sources of fortune, we could fight off those guards and save our homes. I'll write a letter straight away. Wow, our own army of soldiers, but how will we ever track them down? My little troop of school scouts, they can track anyone. I'll give them a whistle. <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch! Sniff, sniff, sniff! Do you need a helping hand right now? We're ready, army scouts. Yes! Here's the letter. Let's hope we can find them in time. Let's hope they agree to help us. Well now, my little twiglets, it's time to give a helping hand. Track down these heroes and give them Marion's letter. And with a little look, they'll agree to give us a helping hand too. Good luck, skunks. Skunks, skunks of the forest united we stand, ready, ready to, to give a helping, helping hand. hand.
11 was 72. A crack performance unit was outlawed by the royal court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Nottingham Underground. Today, they survive as men of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Merry Men. Great rehearsal. That was marvellous, darlings. Just a few notes. Well done, little John. You're fabulous, as Thanks, always. Thanks, Robin. I'm trying my best. Hey, what about me? Yes, Big John, you're fabulous too. What about the big bird, Robin? Too much ketchup. Fire took. You can never have too much ketchup. And Dave? Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Jazz hands. Yes. <laughs> about those jazz hands, Dave? Jazz hands, enough. Not really appropriate in a fight scene. Save it for your solo spot. Absolutely, Robin. Shimmy, shimmy. Jazz Love the loop playing, but why did you run off halfway through? Sorry, Robin, my G strings left. But <laughs> much muscles did good. Yes, much, my big strong hairy brute. He was super. Well, that's the finale sorted. So let's go through the new running order. We open with our spectacular song and dance number. Then it's my solo part where I recreate the Battle of Heights into the medium of contemporary dance. Follow by a classic folk song. Dennis Little John and Big John with a comedy double act before much more so I strong my routine. Much chap tree jokes and half with bare hands. <laughs> and then it's Briar Top, the mystical monk, with my mix of mind reading and magic. What a show. Now I wonder where England's finest performing troupe of entertainers. We sing, we dance, we act. We were smashing tights. But, Robin, we haven't had a ping on this in months. That's since King John closed up all the, th the theatres. All, all our bookings have dried up. You know our audience were last night? Six squirrels, two mice, and, and a badger, badger called Derek. Derek. We miss it, Robin. The roar of grease paint. The smell of the crowd. Adoring fans. <laughs> Rapturous applause. Sausages. And that's why I put an advert in the paper. Look. For sale. Left sock. Slightly smelly. No, underneath that, a lot's going to change real soon. I can feel it in my tights, while a big break could just be around the corner. Robin Hood? The very same. Have you come for an autograph for small, stray, smelling admirers? Not really. We have to give you this letter. It's for Maid Mariner, so we Fun well. How charming. What does it say, Robin? Saw your advert. Just what we're looking for. Oh, we're in need of your talents. Important visitors coming at noon. Give them a welcome, they'll never forget. Where do you ask what they're looking for? They need our talents. We have a book, you boys. Well, my fragrant friends, Return forth with Tathai, Mistress Maid Marion, and tell her that Robin and his merry men will not forsake her, for at noon it will be showtime in Sherwood.
You've met her, Robin Hood. But now it's time to meet some folk who aren't so kind and good. King John, he sits on in the throne while riches is away and with the share brings to life the evil in our play. Cue royal shouting! Nottingham! Nottingham! Come in, Your Majesty! Hurry up! It's an emergency! I'm here, Your Majesty. What is it? It's a disaster, Nottingham. A catastrophe. Is it a war, sire? An invasion? Are we under attack? Worse. I can't get the top off my boiled egg. <laughs> but, Your Majesty! No! Guards. Panic over, Your Majesty. Well, just remember in future, I must have my boiled egg served with soldiers. Now, where have you been, Nottingham? I've been calling you for hours. We've been collecting taxes in Sherwood Forest. Sherwood, eh? Nasty bunch of peasants out there. Rough, tough villains, I hear. Oh, yes, sire. Nasty. Rough, tough. All those bulging muscles, tattoos and hairy chests. Shout out women are certainly unique. Post guard, your majesty. A post guard? That'll tell you up, sire. Who's it from? Dear John, having a lovely crusade here in Jerusalem. Weather's nice. Wish you were here. Love, Dickie. King Richard! He's still alive? Unfortunately, but irritating, goody goody. Everybody loves him. They don't. They do. They like him better than me. They don't. They do. Look here in the paper. For sale. Left sock. Slightly smelly. No, on the other side. Why is King John like a tape measure with no numbers? Because he's a useless ruler. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I'm running out of money. People think I'm useless. And I'm homesick. And I'm sick of it. Well, I know what I'm up, sire. A little bit of torture. Some of the dungeon master. Hi, guys. My name's Gavin, and I'm your head dungeon master and torture consultant. And may I introduce my glamorous assistant, Genghis. Hello. Together, we like to think of ourselves as the team that make him scream. Genghis, what did we say about personal space? Sorry, master. Now, stop striking the king. Come here. And where are the torture victims? Not victims, sire. We like to call them our special guests. Gives the place a friendly family feel, doesn't it, Genghis? Yeah. Yes, master. A family feel? Oh, yes, sire. Torture runs in the family. Genghis, your father loved working in the dungeons, didn't he? Yes, it gave him a warm, glowing feeling inside. Job satisfaction? No, he fell and sat on a red-hot poker. <laughs> just, just get on with it. All right, grumpy knickers. Genghis, be alone and bring in our guests, please. Yes, I think I'll have a little chat with our guests before we begin. But, Your Majesty! No, but! Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, Governor. I'm Gravit. And I'm Bolt. We're robbers, we nick things. What, the both of you? Yes, we're a pair of knickers. <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly were you arrested for? We stole a calendar. A calendar? Yes, we got six months each. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I am? Why, have you forgotten? It's probably written on the label in your pants. Have a look. <laughs> what a numbskull. He doesn't even recognise King John. The idiot. That's it, you're King John the idiot. I beg <laughs> I beg your pardon. You've seen you in all the stamps. And may I say, much better looking than that lion heart bloke. Oh, really? Do you think so? Yes, you're more sort of regal as an eagle. You're right. I am regal as an eagle. Strong as an ox, sly as a fox. Daft as a brush. Don't worry. <laughs> After they've been tortured, I'll flog them in the market square. You can't flog us. No one will buy us. Begin the torture. <laughs> Torture. What? 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 I like these two. They said I'm as regal as an eagle. They obviously have taste and intelligence. We do? We do! But your majesty! No! But! Release them at once! I am issuing a royal pardon! A royal pardon? He didn't even, he didn't even do a royal burp. 
<laughs> Nottingham, these two can be your new henchmen. For your majesty. No, but for once I found subjects who actually like me. It's true, I like you. And me. And me. Genghis. <laughs> Sorry, master. <laughs> There's bound to be a snag. The truth or out, the cat must be let out the bag. Cue dramatic entrance music! Have no fear! The merry men are here! Hooray! Robin and his merry men, at your service, here's my card. I am made mine, and on behalf of the villagers of Sherwood, may I thank you for coming to our aid on this historic day. Fair maid Marion, shall we compare fee to a summer's day for art more temperate, with slightly less chance of a drizzle? Oh, isn't he lovely? Thank you, my dear. I was nominated for an Oswald twice. Villagers of Sherwood, we're here to give your visitors a welcome they'll never forget. Hooray! We'll slay them in the aisles. Hooray! We'll knock them dead. Hooray! Okay, boys, get ready to break a leg. Gosh, they're tough. Mr. Hood, I must go, and I was wondering if I could join the Merry Men. Join us? You are a bit too short. And no muscles. Oh, go on, I've got my own tights and everything. You need more than tights, you need sparkle, but that's glitter and talent. What talents have you got, young Will? Well, I'm a bit short sighted, but I'm brilliant with the bow now. I practice every day in the forest hunting deer, fox, and wild boar. Have you ever hunted bear? No, I always wear clothes. Let me show you. <laughs> Fabulous, darling. It's a yes from me. Oh yes, as well. You're through. Welcome to the Merry Men. We'll fit you in near the end. When I call your name, you're on. Thanks, Robin. You won't regret it. Now then, to business. When the sheriff and his guards arrive, we need to give them... Something punchy? Something with a kick. Perfect. We have just the thing. We're open with a dramatic fight scene. Fight scene! I've got the ketchup ready, Robin. Ketchup? This was song and dance routine. Song and dance routine? Place it, everyone. It's showtime. <laughs> Professional entertainers, England's finest performing troupe, available for weddings, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs. Nursey, I've made a terrible mistake. Nonsense, Marion. These Marion men are just too good to be true. Yes, I'm afraid they are. It's time. That show's going to get the surprise of his life. He's not the only one. Two new henchmen. Bonjour, monsieur. Not Frenchmen, henchmen, my deputies. Now, have you got the money, or is it time to bring the house down? Excuse me, Sheriff, but it's our job to bring the house down. And who are you? I am Robin Hood, and Rin and I are here to give you a welcome you'll never forget. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. Isn't this fab? Just like the pen towel. Ready, boys? We haven't got to the good bit yet. Do some game packs, Robin. What about 
What? Oh, yes, we all love what? He breaks in with his bare hands. Bare hands! Time to bolt, well. Women and cowards first! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Now we're down to an order of one. Ah, yes, well, actually, I just remembered something urgent I need to do back in Nottingham. Not so fast, Sheriff. We promise to entertain you, and entertain you we will. Well, that's me. Here goes. She has some good dance routine or a big finale. Audience, some good dance routine. Finale. I'm sorry, everyone, but I've made a mistake. These are soldiers. They're entertainers. Entertainers. Soldiers. I haven't been so shocked since I put the electric blanket on the waterbed. You mean we've just attacked the sheriff of Nottingham without knowing it? King John will have us executed. Oh. They become dirty, rotten outlaws. Outlaws! There's nothing worse than outlaws! You haven't met my in-laws. We've got your heroes. Big ones who fight spices to defend the damsels in distress. So did the sheriff and his men. Did you see their faces? That's right. They didn't know you were acting. They were terrified of you. And that's all it takes. How about it, boys? What? what? The biggest performance of your lives. You'll be the Sherwood Hoodies. The, the Sherwood, Sherwood Hoodies? hoodies. A gang of desperate outlaws fighting for justice and freedom, robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Absolutely not. With you playing Robin Hood, the da a dashing hero. You're on. The name's Hood. Robin Hood. Thank you. 
a back and showered. That gave us Madagascar. Instead, he's in a meeting. There's torture to arrange with Gavin of the Dungeon and Genghis. Who's just strange? Cue the, the wheels. So, Gavin, tell me more about your exciting new plans for the dungeon. Oh yes, sire. We thought we could have theme nights. It would be lovely. Lovely. Theme nights. Tickling Tuesdays and Wedgie Wednesdays. And do we have a new piece of torture equipment? We're very excited, aren't we, Genghis? I'm very excited. It's called the Squisher. It rolls out our guests until they're completely flat. Unfortunately, we have no one to test it on, but we've tried it on your royal underpants and it's pressed them beautifully, hasn't it, Genghis? Yes, Master. And Genghis? Yes, Master. Personal space? Sorry, Master. You're back. What about my back? Back from Sherwood. Yes, the tapestry. We took a shortcut. And where are the guards? Ah! And where is Nottingham? Ah! Will someone please explain what's going on? Sawyer, I have run all the way from Sherwood. It has been a perilous journey, but I did not falter. I encountered terrible wind, but I followed through. <laughs> I was buried alive in a steaming manure, but I was undeterred. <laughs> Get on with it! We went to collect the taxes, but those villagers had a gang of hoodies to protect them. We had to run all the way back here by foot. What about the taxes? No, we couldn't afford a minicab. <laughs> no, I mean my money. Where is it? There is no money, sire. There'll never be another bean, sire. Not while they're protected by that girl. And their leader. What was his name again? Robin Hood! Robin Hood? Then he must be stopped. Nottingham, get back to Sherwood and sort him out. But, Your Majesty! No but Get me Robin Hood. Get me his gang. Get me my money and get me a cup of tea milk, two sugars. <laughs> In what order? Honestly, Nottingham, milk first. Tea next, sugar last. Gods, as for you, we're going down to the dungeon. Gavin, it looks like you can test your squisher after all. But Sire! No, but no march! Right, you numbskulls. To beat those outlaws, we need more information. We can't operate without intelligence. We manage, all right? <laughs> You two will have to be spies and go into shower the first thing in the morning. You must get up before dawn. Right. What time does dawn get up? <laughs> Early. You must go deep into the forest and listen out for anything suspicious. I'm a good listener, Chef. I've got a cute hearing. And I've got a cute smell. <laughs> good. You must capture Robin Hood or else. Who's else? I mean, if you don't capture Robin Hood, I'll cut your head off. If you cut my head off, I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> And you've captured him, I want you to take him out. What? You mean on the day? We hardly know him. <laughs> no, I mean kill him. Oh. We will meet at the Crooked Oak Tree tomorrow at sunset. Don't let me down. Well, both if you're ready, let's go. If I'm ready, if I'm ready, I'm always ready. I was born ready. No, no, I was ready before I was born. Men renamed Sherwood Hoodies. It's time to play a different role, that of heroic goodies. May men will teach them well, of that you can be sure, rehearsing robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Hold them up, this is a stick up. No, stick them up, this is a hold up. Sorry. I am Robin Hood and fight for justice and freedom. We rob from the rich and give to the poor. Hand over your money and I should spare your lives. Certainly not, you cad. Out of our way, you vagabond. Ah, yes. Well, um, sorry everyone, I've tried. What's my line again? Sorry about this, you know, I was fab in rehearsals. Then I will call my gang of outlaws. Then I will call my gang of outlaws. Ah! They're very good, aren't they? And they do their own stunts. Shimmy, shimmy. Jazz hands. Yay! No jazz hands, they will turn around. Oh, right. You two are ugly and smelling. That's not very nice of 
you don't say you're sorry. I'm sorry that you're going to smell it. Buddy! Listen, my children. Hey, I demand you give that back. Yes, give it back at once on our screen. <gasps> what should we do, Marin? They're being very difficult. Honestly, boys, you're army warriors, right? Right. 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 And they're really asking for it. Right. right. Well, let them have it. Right. right. Here you are. Have a safe journey. Bye. Bye. Well done, darling. It's great performance. Great performance? You look like a nickel nut of a one arm squirrel. Call yourself a professional performers. But we are professional performers. We have performed in front of the Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince of Wales. And in front of many other taverns, too. I was nominated for an Oswald twice. Well, prove it. Find those travellers and remember, rob, rob them the rich and give to the poor. We're only having half a day of training this morning. Hooray! And the other half this afternoon. Boo! But first, we must find Robin and Marion. Where are we? Well, taking a compass of bearing. And the sun's position in the sky. And the formation of these trees. We know exactly where we are. Where? Lost. We'll have to camp out here right now. Certainly not. The last time I went camping, I set fire to my sleeping bag. Set fire to your sleeping bag? Yes, the heat was intense. Well, I've had to go to treehouse instead. I don't like tree houses either. I used to, have to share one with my best friend. What happened? We fell out. We just have to keep on searching. It's time to make like a tree and bark. No, it's leave. And that. Follow me, skunks. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The big cow has a fat bottom. <laughs> Red sky at night. Me to the fire! Stop wasting time! I have a very tight schedule! I thought you were walking for me. Shh. Have you heard anything? Just some gas escaping. <laughs> well, you need to hear from Captain Robin Hood. Are you tough enough? Tough? My dad's was a boxer. And mine was an Alsatian. You need to remind me of this forest. <laughs> Mysterious? No. Dense? I'm letting you borrow my kidnapping kit. It's a brown kit and a gold-plated bunker. A gold-plated bunker? Very nice. But how will we catch him? You could lay a net over a hole. Well, she might fall in. Who? <laughs> a net. <laughs> and where are we going to find him? He's devious, so he could be hiding anywhere. He may even be... In disguise. No, not in disguise, in disguise. Whatever you do, make sure you do not fail. After all, the sheriff spies, and the sheriff spies are tough and hard. Did you hear that? The sheriff spies are tough and hard. You must be leaving them in the oven too long. <laughs> and fight for justice and freedom. We rob from the rich and give to the poor. Hand over your money and I should spare your lives. Oh no, not you again. Can't you go and annoy someone else? <laughs> money. There's you once again. For goodness sake, why you need our money? We rob from the rich and give to the poor. I thought we'd already explained that. We must find poor and penniless people to give this money to. Well, we've just been robbed and had all our money stolen. <gasps> really? That's awful. So now we're poor and penniless. So you are. What a shock of luck. Here you are. Bye. 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 Don't spend it all at once. Nice working with you. What a lovely couple. <laughs> Did I just see that pair walking away with the money? Yes, robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. I think we've cracked it. I think you've cracked. That's it. I've had enough. Just go and find Nursie and the skunks. We'll set up the camp. <laughs> He's completely useless, prancing around Sherwood shouting, I'm Robin Hood, I'm Robin Hood. What did she say? 
She said she's Robin Hood. That's a girl grab it. Or a devious disguise bolt. Look at me. I'm Robin Hood. Aren't I wonderful? You're right. It is Robin Hood in a devious disguise. Let's kidnap him. I'll take a gold-plated bonky. You watch my back. Right. Hey, what are you doing? Watch your back. Idiot, I meant cover me. Right. Hey, get me out of here. I mean, robbing isn't difficult, is it? We just have to find some stupid travellers and... Aha, you two travellers. We're not travellers, we're spies. Spies? Yes, we're undercover. <laughs> have you got anything valuable? Only a gold-plated bunker. Well, I want you to let me have it. Pardon? I want you to let me have it. Are you sure? You better let me have it by the time I count to three. One, two, ouch, three. <laughs> She was right here a moment ago. Oh, well, she's not anymore. That girl's always wandering around. Wait a minute, what's that? It's straight tracks on the floor. What do you make of those skunks? From the shape of it, it looks like Marion was knocked unconscious. By a gold plate to bunker. I was dragged off. By two stupid spies. In the direction of Nottingham Castle. <gasps> Nottingham Castle? Oh, my poor little dumpling. Whatever shall we do? We have to rescue her right now. Come on, you lot. There's no time to lose. But Robin, have you forgotten? We're not real heroes. We're just entertainers. And, and we're, we're just skunks. skunks. That doesn't matter now. We've learned that we can be whatever we want to be. And tonight we need to become a crack commando unit. Robin's right. I might be a batty old bird, but tonight... I'm going commando. No, no, If we all work together, we can do anything. We can beat anyone. Together, we'll fight. Fight. Together, we'll win. So who's with me? We Oh,
Nottingham for current work made the carry on until they rescued Marion. So now we set our final scene where John the King saw vile me. Wasted bad and bated breath, the news of Robin's certain death. Cue Manicola! <laughs> Great news, sir! Let's have a surprise for you! That's right, you travesty! We present Robin Hood! So, this is Robin Hood. He's a bit, well, girly. That's because this is a girl, sire. You idiots have kidnapped the wrong person. You certainly have. I am Maid Mary, and when Robin finds me, he'll come here and he... And then we'll have him right where we want him. You can't defeat him. My reliant Robin can do anything. Except go around corners at high speed. <laughs> the sheriff's right. With you as bait, that Robin Hood will fall right into our trap. And then he'll get his just desserts. This is no time for pudding, Nottingham. We must prepare to fight. <laughs> well, we'd love to help, but we can't with our problem. What problem? We're cowards. You'll do as you're told. You not spread out and keep watch for Robin and his hoodies. Gavin and Genghis, take Marion to the dungeon. But no! It's a good job. I saw that ladder in my tights. You lot, go on ahead. Have your switch. This is no time for embroidery. We have to find Marion. But where could she be? Dungeon. Good thinking, much. She must be in the in the dungeon. I don't like dungeon. I got anorexophobia. You mean? Claustrophobia. No, and arachnophobia is is a fear of raincoats. Just, oh, it's no time for dreadful jokes. I'm afraid it is. I read the script. We have to find the dungeon. Merry men, go that way. Nursing will stay here and watch out for the guards. <laughs> but Will, if the guards come, what should we do? About 50 miles an hour. Now. We need to be quiet. So look like you're eating Welsh cheese. How's that? Carefully. <laughs> Come on. Marion waits, a damsel in deadly dire straits. She puts her trust in Robin Hood and the people of Sherwood. The rescue party, brave and bold, went searching through the dark and cold. Through the night, their friend they sought, till one by one they all got caught. Cue sad and depressed moaning! Oh. Oh. Limey Bart, who are all these prisoners? Intruders. How did they get in? Intruder window. <laughs> How lovely. Lots of new guests to torture. Genghis, prepare the squisher. Yes, master. You can't squish us, and my skunks are only children. We're not monsters, madam. We don't squish children. We'll boil them in oil. Well, that's it, folks. We've lost. We can't give up. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is not for you. <laughs> We have to give up. There's nothing we can do now. Yes, there is. We can sing. A community sing-along. The perfect warm-up for a night of torture, Genghis. Yes, master. It doesn't matter how trap or how you feel. Music is the answer. He's right. That's why us merry men are so merry. Happy tune. 
is all you need. And soon others will hear it and join in. And before long, they'll be singing your song all over the world. <laughs> I'll call you if I need you. Robin, we have to get out of here. She's right, the sheriff may be squished, but he's not the only baddie around here. Don't forget King John. King John! Ah! King John! Ah! King John! Ah! Obviously, a man of few words. Ah! You've seemed to broke 
breaking your own rule. No! I knew you couldn't be trusted, but Robin and the Shower Hoodies got to the bottom of things. <laughs> Gavin and Genghis, you have a new guest. Show your pretty friend the squisher, master. The squisher? Perfect. You and the Shower can be flatmates. Hooray! Hooray! And as for you two. Oh, please spare them, sir. Why have helped us time to die? Perhaps they could work for us. Washing costumes? Yes, they can scrub our pipes. And wash lights and habits. And I have a lot of dirty habits. And as for you, Maid Marinetta Sherwood hoodies, I award you Victory's Cross, King's Cross, and all the stations to the Sherwood's Bush. Hooray! And finally, for the best performance in a lifetime, the award goes to... Robin Hood. Hooray! An Oswald. I've won an Oswald. Oh, I don't know what to say. And this means everything. And I accept it on behalf of my mother, my chiropodist, <laughs> my uncle Bernard. He says thanks. Three cheers for Robin and the Sherwood Hoodies. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! So Sherwood is safe and I heard to us all, but that's not the end of our story at all. All of the world has a tale be told, a story becoming a legend of all. A story of heroes, a story of fights, a story of squishes, bonkers and kites. A valley is a beating by shell-stopping goodies, a rubbing and a shell with goodies. Great night for a musical, I wonder who played me? Cue the finale! <laughs>